Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnies, and welcome back to Simply Nigua. And today, girl, I have a book I need to tell you about. So go ahead and sit back and relax. Put your imaginary seatbelt on because, girl, you're going to enjoy this ride. So if you want to know more about this book, go ahead, sit back and relax. If you're new here, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more book reviews. And also give this video a like as well. But other than that, let's get started with this book video. And I can't wait so we can break about the I'm so excited to tell you guys about this book. So this book that I'm going to talk to you today is the second book in this series. This book is called Truth or Dare You. It's the second book in the Love Game series by Elizabeth Haley. So if you haven't seen my first video of Never Have You Ever of the first book in the Love Game series that you need to read before you read this one, go ahead and check that out and it will be down in the description box or up in the eye. You can find it on my channel. Go ahead and check that out after this video. But today we are going to talk about Truth or Dare You by two amazing authors, Elizabeth Haley. I am so excited excited that I got a chance to read the second book in this series. The first book ended and I really needed to know what the second book was and I'm so happy and glad that I got the opportunity to read this book and be able to get this book review video out for you guys to tell you about the second book. So let's deep dive and tell you a little bit more about this book. So like I said, Truth or Dare You is the second book in the Love Game series. So this book continues on and expands more on Sophia and Drew's story, which who are the two main characters in this novel and in this series. You can see how much they grow together and the issues that's gone throughout the book. You can see how they uh, get through tough times together or can they get through those tough times. And you get to see really more and more their true feelings about each other because this book expands upon that. This book also explains in more of, a, of who Drew is personally. Like you see more of his family and see more of his true feelings. And you see more of him, I think, in this book, which I really, really love that. And you can see really how he grow as a person from the first book into the second book. This book is also about a third main character in this novel, even though it's just about Sophia and Drew and their love story. But it's also about Sophia's brother, Brody. And if you know from the first book you know but like in this book you get more information about Brody and you get to see who he is and you just get the more better vibe of who he is because like from the first book you get this like one-sided aspect of who he is but in this book you get to see uh, who he truly is I believe because in the first book he was depicted as one thing but in this book he's very nice and smart and might maybe have a, a cocky uh, personality but, but a lot of people misjudge him and I feel like his family misjudges as well especially his parents so like he has this other kind of vibe that you get but you really get to know Brody as well and I liked how he was also a, like a third main character in this novel this book is about also Brody, Drew, and Sophia's adventure they had together. The three amigos, they're the triad. Like they got into a new adventure that they developed together and it became really, really popular around the campus, which also had developed some issues with one of them. And you should really, really pick up this book and see who had the issue. Like one of them had a really big problem with this new adventure. So go ahead, read this book, grab this book up today because you got to know the adventure they got all got into and if you read the first book like you know their relationship and just it was nice to see them three working together on something and how they got through this issue this book also shows more about of Sophia and Brody's parents I feel like they are a little sketchy they're a little sus they're a little suspicious and um, they feel I feel like they're up to something behind the scenes or, or they're still preppy and uptight or something but it they feel like they're a little sus so I really want to see what happens with the parents and how they deal with this situation they're all but like I have to mention and have to say like wow okay like the ending of this book is like bomb explosion wow like drop the mic like Elizabeth Haley just like put that last sentence in put that last paragraph in and was just like yeah drop the mic okay girl drop the mic you like this book 
but <laughs> you're gonna need to pick this third book up because you're gonna need to know what happened because the last page the last sentence of this book was just like a bombshell and I can't believe that what I just read and I was really shocked and I applaud Elizabeth Haley for putting that in in this last book like the first book was just like drop the mic situation but this was like a bomb drop the mic I'm so excited to read the third book. So excited. And I can't wait till it comes out. So that was kind of basically what this book is about in a nutshell. And like some points of what the book's about. But I also felt like the bigger meaning of this book that was presented to us, that I felt like no matter what others say, go after who and what you want in life. But also don't let others poop on your ideas. Just go for it. Like I said, Brody is always misjudged or not seen as something reliable. He didn't let nobody poop in on his ideas, so he went for it. And I feel like this, that was a, like a big, another main, like, important thing that this book is about as well and then lastly fight for your dreams of like being with someone or just like hey I have an idea for something like to fight for your dreams and then do it truth or dare you is a really really good book I really really enjoyed it from the first page I start reading and to the last and it just kind of begins um, where things left off from the last bombshell in the last book this book again is in Sophia Andrews mind even though it has a lot of Brody in this book I really enjoyed that a lot but yes it's in Sophia and Drew's mind because I really love the perspective I really loved seeing that perspective a point of view of each character and getting into their minds and getting into their feelings throughout each chapter this book has 28 chapters with no epilogue this time so it's a nice good thick book again and I really enjoyed every page that I read if I haven't mentioned it already I'm sorry like this book comes out today November 24th I'm so excited you need to pick this book up today and read it especially if you read the first book already you should definitely pick this book up today and read it if you haven't read the first book and this is like the first like video of mine that you've seen of this book this is the second one so you really have to read the first book to know what's going on with the second one because it's a series it's not a standalone novel like some of the books I have read before and in some videos so you really need to definitely read the first book first to know what's going on in the second book but definitely definitely pick up the series up this second book really really allowed you to see more and to connect more with Drew and Sophia so much more and I really enjoyed that so do I recommend this book to you guys like 100% uh, yes 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 read this book okay um, especially if you have read the first book and you love that definitely read this book you're gonna love it again the love game series is so good and uh, this book is so good as well it doesn't disappoint you at all and so I definitely recommend you guys to get this like I said, it comes out today. Get it today. You don't want to miss out on this lovely book. You need to have this book in your head because it's so good. And so with that, I want to end this video so you can go ahead and pick up the book. So if you like this video, if you like this book series, go down below and give this a like. Or if you're going to get this book as well, go give me a like down below. And if you're new here, go down below and subscribe, please, so you won't miss out on any other new releases that I do on this channel and any other book reviews that I'm going to share with you guys I read so often so there's always a new book to tell you guys about so other than that thank you so much for watching and guess what I'm gonna have a second video this week go down below subscribe but other than that I catch you back later